all right so what is going on today youtube how are you guys this week going mine went pretty uh not no nah, it wasn't the greatest weekend of my life probably you know one of the not the weekend but one of the weeks it was, it was pretty bad but we are here with the replays of the week so you know we got something to look back at and enjoy over some replays that i've gathered or you guys have sent in over the week so without further ado we're going to just hop straight into this but before we start i would like to say if you guys do enjoy the video leave a like leave a comment and also subscribe if you have not already and if you guys can click and add that support the channel would be very helpful and i appreciate you for it very much and um if you guys do want to send a replay in to be featured in next week's uh we replays of the week um the email is in the description and you guys can go ahead and send it there and i will do this uh i mean i will <laughs> review it i don't know why i said do this but this is uh my the first two replays are from uh george holland he sent those in and he was playing spirals so we're going to go ahead and start now i did see the first duel but the second one i have not seen yet so here we go well the first duel i was you know i was what i mean the first duel i watched i was recording before but then i had to stop and then i had to start and I had to stop so i just said no let's just start over so here we go uh <laughs> we're going to start and it looks like the he's, play, he's playing against bas he said so as you see he opened up a fucking fantastic hand the opponent, not so much, but they do have some countermeasures as in Ghost Ash, Strike, and a Maxi. And if they do get to live this turn, the Regeki. So here we go. We're going to start off with a resort to go ahead and search the Super Agent. And then he goes and activate it. And then, you know, Maxi gets chained. Super Agent hits the field and gets striked. Ooh, that's probably not the greatest strike for my opponent. But it's going to be all right. So he summons that and gets Ghost Ash. Ooh. So, but he already has the big red. So everything is going to be okay. And he, my, and his opponent is just drawn, drawn majorly. So he ooh he, draw, he draws into another spiral resort. I mean last resort, which is not the greatest. Use Ancient Fairy, summons the Sleeper, equips both resorts because you know that that's actually a pretty good move. Because if they do get over this, they got to get over this, and then they got to get over this. So that's three cards they got to do before they hit Sleeper. And as you see. The opponent, you know, is basically going to try to do all of his plays, but um, ends up going into a number 30 acid of Golem, which, you know, I, he's trying to do something, but I don't think he understands what Sleeper is. Um, and what, what, what uh, what's the name, what George could have did, because I, I'm, I don't know if his name is Pure or they switched it or not, but what George could have did, he could have in-phase and did it, but, you know, like I said, Sleeper is just an amazing card. So you could do it whenever you want. And I believe the opponent quits after this when he realizes, like, you, you all... It, it, look at that. He used all three of the major hand traps to try to get over Sleeper. It, I mean, it was stuff with Ghost Ash, but... In Maxi, but he used all three... Uh, what's the name? Uh, hand traps, and he, he still has a Sleeper on board. That's just funny. And, all right, here we go with game two and as you see ba started off a lot better because they have mostly bas in his hand and he has an effect veiler which is very underrated so he's playing literally every hand trap in the game right now I'm, so i wouldn't be surprised if he did play dd crow and uh like all like man it it, it seems like as my luck passed on to one of my viewers it, it look the last card was a damn phoenix rhino warrior lets him send the sir so now he can go into another dante because like i said he does have multiple bas in his hand and let's see what he mills with this dante and with this dante he doesn't mill too good but it does give you a a, a peek into what his deck is he's playing uh kaiju's he's also playing fire lake which is an amazing card that no burning abyss plays anymore and then he goes into a beatrice to end his turn so think about that he started off with four bas and an effect veiler ends with a beatrice a Dante with a, a, a Rubik under, a Tour Guide for next turn, and an Effect Veiler. And look, the 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 what's in the Spiral Hand is not the greatest. So he summons Drone and he Effect Veilers, which I don't know why he did that, but hey, you know, to eat his own. So he misses with Spiral Super Agent because this would have been a way better to Effect Veil the target to go ahead and get over. Um, but nope, he uh, ends up sending uh, Alec to negate the effect instead of Farf in it, which would have probably been better because at the end phase, it would have came back and died. So he, he's able to go into Princess Sprite. Princess Sprite mills the Spiral Tough, gets another drone going, uh, equips the drone, and then uh, ends his turn because he really can't do anything. A lot of shit, a lot of his players did get stopped, but at least this can't die by battle nor card effects, so that is a good thing. And so he draws into a strike. Ooh, this is going to be tough. So, starts off with the Dante, Mills 3, L. Oh, there goes the Farfa. Look at that. Uh, can it be targeted? No, it cannot be targeted either. He mills a Farfa and a Skarm. 
Ain't that the goddamn... How good is that? Oh, wow. He summons... What's the name from his hand? Surprisingly, I don't know if I would have did that myself. So he discards the Sir. So I'm guessing to bring back... No, Scar. Why would you bring that back? You know it's going to die. So, oh, he goes Utopic Future, but... Oh, he can take it because it does not target. Hits him with 25. And he ends his turn by searching what's saying he does have a strike down there. So that was it's probably going to save him. So you activate uh what's the name? Called and traps misses because you know he did not know what was going on. And uh that's the end of his turn. So here he goes. He summons a female rhinus warrior, and that's the end of his turn. Oh, this is this is looking like a grind game right now. This is good. Oh, why wow, he doesn't send? Does he not like literally have any more fiends? Yes, Alec. Um, yeah, he has a whole bunch. I definitely would have sent Barbar to get that going. Oh, he, oh, he need no more Beatrice, so he's safe. Um, he attacks with uh, Beatrice. He gets utility wire back to the extra deck. Um, he's just sitting here with a, a what's the name, which he can't do shit with. So he sends uh, Spiral Stupid Agent to the graveyard with last resort effect. Um, here we go. He summons a Gofu. I mean, he's top decks a Gofu. And going back and forth here, setting up back row and stuff. And he can't summon none of his BA cards because... Uh, what's thing? He can't summon none of his BA cards because he has the Utopic Future. So, he tops decks his Spiral Resort. is probably going to get him out of this, is it? Yes. Oh, it, he got striked. I mean, it's not really too much you can do about that. Uh, draw it into a Ghost Ash, which is going to be very helpful. Oh, my God. Look at the top deck. The top deck is so beautiful right now. All right. So, it looks like this is... Oh, no. He's waiting. He's waiting for a clear game shot. He's trying to get... He, he, think, he probably thinks he's back rows or something. He top deck another Ghost Ash. Jesus Christ, this is amazing. Oh my God, that, that had to hurt so much. That had to hurt so much. Oh, he tops that into a big red. Oh, okay, this is over. Yeah, this is over. I, I already know where he's going. Go ahead and search the last resort. I mean, last resort. Instant fusion. Go Thousand Eyes Restrict because he did put it back with, uh, with the resort from last turn. These Dantes aren't going to matter. Go into a Dullahan. Drops the Sleeper. Sleeper is going to go ahead and pop these last two, and he's going to chain drone to go ahead and pump it up by a cool thousand, and he's going to hit with 38, uh, 18, and this is game. Look at the comeback factor. Ooh, look, that was pretty spicy. Uh, and all right, we're going to continue now. This is me now, so we're going to continue. Look at them good first two replays from George Holland. Thank you for sending those in, but now we're going to be going in with, uh, what's the name, with some spirals, uh, some more spirals, matter of fact. Um, playing against uh, Black Wings, as you can see, um, wow, really? Looking at his hand, you guys are going to see what's going to happen, but looking at his hand, he easily could have got over this uh, fucking Naturia Beast. Wow. So, top back to Black Whirlwind because I've seen it with the Super Agent, and then he just ends his turn. So, I can understand why he did it, but, you know, sometimes, man, you just got to you just gotta, you gotta use your cards. Um, I guess the reason why he did this is because he was scared of my back row and he did have an Icarus attack. So since I did have a spiral resort, I was like, you know what? I can already, you know, gain my advantage back top deck into a big red, which is going to just get me going. So here we go. Go into a formula synchro, get a free draw, um, search the spiral super agent because I already know where I'm going. Drone, see the top three and he's playing obelisk, which is a weird card in black wings, but Hey, I can't uh, really hate um, here we go. My end goal is to go into the, the regular sleeper combo. Princess Sprite, Mills a quick fix. That's good with me. Search another last resort. Coral Dragon. Agent Fairy Dragon. Draw into another draw into a terraforming. So that's another spiral resort. Resort. Go ahead and give me the sleeper. Bam. Take control of the game and have a mistake set. So we just have major control. And he quits. He quits. And it, this wasn't game. This wasn't game by a long shot. That was what? That was 5,000. Sony 7,100. Uh, what was he top decking? Um, he was top decking. Oh, yeah. He was top decking All right, I would have quit too, shit. <laughs> so, yeah. That was that. And now we're going to be playing some Chaos Zone Share New Zombie. These are some plays that I did get and stuff like that. So, we're going to start off. We're playing up against a Madoches. And as you can see, this is just awful. Look at this. Look, look like I drew the fucking Garnet. And then he Ghost Ogres my Unizombie. So, I'm... And now I'm at a lost word. So, I say, fuck it. Let's just use the snow. I mean, let's use Necroface. And look. I get... Five monsters. Imagine if I had a Chaos Zone, man. And then for me, I hit just literally most of my fucking uh, engine. I hit the Scorpio and I hit the, uh, what's the name? The Fairy Tale Snow. But I feel like I'm okay. Um, I don't understand why, like, he, he didn't use Brilliant Fusion for some reason. Even though, I mean, there was no, 
Uh, I don't know why he didn't use Brilliant Fusion. I'm going to just be 100% honest with you guys. I don't know why he didn't use it. He just says that he actually sets one. So I'm thinking he, wait, let me see. Does that the only light does he run? He plays one light. Are you kidding me? He plays one light. Why would you? Did I banish another? Oh, I banished the other light. That's what happened. So look, Necroface indirectly is just already just <laughs> paying dividends right now. So here we go. Summon the Garnet because I'm thinking, all right, I need to get this Garnet in the grave so I can go to an Omega. So I can go into Omega and write uh, in West name and uh, pretty much get it recycled. Now, right here is where I messed up. I should have did this the other way. I should have went to with Omega with this. So um, basically with this play is uh, I, there's no reason for me to do that, but uh, what's the name with this play I could have sent this and then put the tornado dragon under the uh, put the performer the, the trick clown under the tornado dragon so I can continue basically to keep the trick clown so I messed up right there but I didn't want to run into it like a solemn strike or anything so that's you know why I went tornado dragon first but you know that would have been a better play to do it secondly but tornado dragon is just an amazing card so use the omega bam he activates the ticket. That's go ahead and just go ahead and get hit because I'm not dealing with that. And as you can see, this is pretty much game. Draw into a twin twister. Uh, normal summon. I mean, get that back. Normal summon. Put everything back and uh, just swing for game here. So, yeah, we're going to let that one go ahead. And I don't know if, this, if there's a game two of this. I don't know. We're going to see. Be right back. And no, it is a game two, but we are going up against some dark magicians. And as you see, look at this hand. I told you guys about this hand. It's it's triple omega. So here we go. And a cool thing is I believe I can still do this under link format. Okay, so right here, right? I can get this back. So let me see if I can do this under link format. Bam. Get that. Yes. See, right now under link format, what I would do is I would increase this to level five, right? Because Unijambi is not going to be on the board anymore because right now I can't. I, I'm only going to have one extra deck, and that's where the Seraph Knight. So I will Synchro Seraph Knight into an Omega, banish the Omega, then Mizuki, as you said right here. Um, use Mizuki to get this back. And then um, I believe go into Levier here, uh, discard, get this back, right? Because the Trick Clown is still on the board at level 5. Discard, make this level 4, and then use uh, the Levier. I believe there, there's like a Link 1. There's a link one card that points down that you just need an effect monster. So I'll use the Levier for the link. And then, you know, we could still do the same plays we're doing here. But <clears throat> just imagine if we had, wasn't it? Just imagine if we had Chaos Zone sitting right there. Mind you, we wouldn't have got the Gold Sark off. But mind you, just imagine Chaos, like, what's the name right there? Like, look at this. So fucking good. We would have, you know, did major things. But, you know, you can't really hate on Triple Omega. It's, it's Triple Omega. So, <laughs> um, yeah, as you see... Uh, this, I, I, I'm right here. I'm just feeling comfortable. But if you guys do see, you see the card right there, <laughs> watch, watch, watch what happens. So I'm feeling comfortable. I'm thinking, all right, this game is over. Giving my opponent a chance to play. I just went straight into a fucking mirror force. I'm like, all right, but I'm at so much advantage. I literally don't care about the mirror force because like I said, I can build everything back. So hold on real quick. Somebody's at the door, but yeah. All right. Sorry for that. But like I said, I, I wasn't really tripping about the Mirror Force because as you see, you know, we, we could I can really get everything back I want to. Top deck of Gold Sark, which is just amazing. Banish that to go ahead and get that. And then use all three of my Omegas just to refill my deck with all of the the Brilliant Fusion targets and end up going another two Omegas just to set everything up and we're getting Necro Face back, so that's good. Use the Omega Return to Mizuki's because I feel like that's, you know, just better for me. Playing against Dark Magicians, as you can see, we banished two of his Dark Magicians. So we're just already in a good position. So use Potter Diwali, then uses Upstart, draws into another rod. That has to suck. Um, and ends up attacking with a Magician's Rod. And that, that's pretty much the extent of his play. So here I go. I'm thinking, all right, now I know what this is because you only set one card. So uh, well, I have an idea of what it is. I don't know literally what it is, but, you know, it's only one card. So here I go. I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not about to leave him with anything. So... Manage that. Go ahead and get that back. Use Coral Dragon to pop the only unknown face down. Turns out to be a dark bribe. And so here I go. Summon Spirit Master. Go into a Sun Saga. Because that's just really good. Excuse me. I didn't mean to burp into the mic. But uh, right here he activate Illusion. Which uh, I don't understand why he does that. 
but he activated illusion and i don't even know if that was game let's see that would have been what 1900 from there so 1900 uh and then this would have been 49 which is 68 okay no it was i think it was 8100 if i'm doing if i'm doing the math right but we still end up getting the victory so yeah that is the end for that and thank you guys for watching um hope you guys do enjoy the week uh there we go see you guys next week though i, I don't know how and that was a terrible ending to a video but see you guys next week thank you guys for watching